Hey YouTube, um, coming at you. Um, I just wanted to do another quick video, second video of the day. Did one earlier this morning, um, a few hours ago or so. Uh, I want to show you something I got in the mail today. Um, these came from uh, a company that's on eBay. Uh, store online store on eBay and I have gotten these um, Nagoya I don't know if you can see that yeah Nagoya and tennis I think I got fakes I have seen videos on fakes and I think these are fake which is it's okay. If they work, it's fine with me. I don't care. I got them at a good deal. I got a two-pack. Um, these are the VHF 130 to 174 megahertz and the UHF 400 to 500 megahertz. That's what the packaging says. I've heard on the fakes that the... Um, this glare, I'm telling you. I've heard on the fakes that the QR codes don't work. So I'm going to test that later. It has a Nagoya holographic logo sticker. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the ones on the true Nagoyas don't, it's not a sticker. It's it's made of the, in the material. I'm not real sure on that though. Um, this is supposed to be a 3.5 dB gain antenna. It says a max power wattage of a hundred watts. I don't know if I want to put a hundred watts to this little antenna. Never will. But anyway, I got two of these in today. And here they are. The two Nagoya antennas. These are the NA701s. That's the antenna model numbers. NA701. Um, I've got them for my bow frame radios. The stock antenna that's on it is, it's an okay antenna. It's not real flexible like these are, so you can bend these double. And plus, I've had the other ones before like these, just like these Nagoyas. It was made by Nagoya. It was a much longer antenna. But it, it got them on nerves, you know, when you're wearing it and it's all up in your armpits because it's so long or it's pretty right here at your shoulder when you're wearing it on your hip. So it was kind of aggravating when I put on my gear bag, you know, it's all slapping you and stuff. So hitting you in the back of the head. So I just, I just decided to get the, these antennas here. They're a little, lo little bit longer than those. Um, it says that they're up to a 50 ohm. Uh, 215 millimeters NA701 that's kind of the medium in the middle antenna it's longer than stock but not overbearing long overbearing long like the NA774s um, so I wanted a medium and that's what I got I think these are fake because they feed, they meet some of the fake aspects of the antenna like the printing on the uh, the base of the antenna, it will rub off if you sit there and stroke it a couple times with your thumb. The ink comes right off. And I noticed that the ink, the packaging has a little bit of the ink marks on the inside where these antennas were in it. But anyway, I also got this shoulder mic. Got a good click to it, good solid. It feels good. I think this is a true Balfang radio, uh, antenna, I mean, microphone. Has the uh, double prong plug that goes in the side to operate. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it was, who was that? Was it no, it's not Yesu. But uh, one of the other major radio, uh, ham radio companies out there, they used the same plug, Kenwood, I think it was Kenwood, that used the same plug as the Balfang product. Uh, this, it, it says Balfang at the top there. 
got your little light down here at the bottom when you're transmitting the bottom here it's got a a little plug for like an earpiece I guess if you want nobody else hearing other people talk through the mic because it does clip on your shoulder and it is an external speaker and microphone it's a good solid clip and that clip rotates I guess so depending on how you want to wear it that's where you'd have the clip <coughs> I've had this one before and it was a good mic it worked really well so this is I don't think this is actually a copy made by another company it seems it seems to be a good solid piece like my last one and it worked really well I think this is the actual true Balfang brand I was going to put one of these antennas on my UV5R but I've only got one UV5R and I've got two antennas so instead of putting this one on here uh, I think I'll keep the stock aerial antenna on this one and since I've got two of these Balfang BF888S's which have a pretty stiff antenna it doesn't give a whole lot like these do so these here like I said these here fold double you can fold them all the way around even though these may be fake, I don't care. As long as it works, I'm fine. As long as I don't have no issues with it, I don't care who made it. But I'm, I've, since I have two of these radios, I think, and I got two of these NA701 uh, Nagoya antennas, I think I'm just going to put it on these BF888S's. Um, just so they'll match. And I can get rid of this little bitty antenna here. Because I really don't like these. Even the one that's on the UV5 bar is longer and a little bit more flexible than these. These here don't really give much. They're pretty hard and pretty solid. So, with that, that way they'll match because it is a set. These are UHF only, not VHF. But the antenna does cover UHF and VHF according to the manufacturer. These mics, I've only got one. I should have bought two. I think I'll give me another. But it will work with the BF888S's and the UV5R. So it's pretty interchangeable. And that's the way I'm trying to keep it. I'm trying to keep it interchangeable. Um... I try to keep it to where every, everything I get will work with all my radios, the best of my, best of my ability. So, with all that being done and all that being said, I just wanted to show you guys the new products I just got in. Um, let me give a little quick run now. I won't make this video too long. The longer I make this video, the longer it's going to take to upload um, to the channel. I'm going to stick these in. See how it fits. Went in pretty good. I got some transmission on the GMRS 17. I don't know what that's about. One, eight. But let me go to a repeater, a local repeater. Let's see. Here, I'll just. This. All right, this is a local repeater. Let's see if it'll hit it. hit it in case you're wondering why I held it here I've got this neck LG Bluetooth device that's linked to my camera phone here and when I 
I use it around my neck, especially during my videos, because um, it does have the mic to to my uh, recording of the video, and it makes it easier for you to hear me instead of me being so far away from the actual camera itself and phone that the mic on it might make it sound low or or muffled or anything like that. So I use this as a microphone around my neck so no matter how far away I am or close to you, you're still going to hear me the same. Um, but anyway, I want to cut this a little bit shorter now. Um, that about concludes this video and um, give you another look at my videos there. And with all that being said, subscribe to my channel, uh, give me a thumbs up. I'm pumping out the videos pretty good. Past two days, I've done made four videos or three. I ain't done yet. Day's just getting started. But um, give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Um, subscribe to my channel. Uh, prepare, prepping, and DIY, PPD. Subscribe to my channel. I'll put them out. Thanks guys for watching. God bless. Have a safe day.